Hello, my name is Ali Mirchi. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering at Michigan Technological University. And uh, today I'm presenting a work uh, that I've done with Dr. Dave Watkins, my advisor, and Dr. Kava Madani uh, at the University of Central Florida. So the, the arguments we are making with this work is that since water resources systems are inherently uh, uh, involving many different subsystems, for example, socioeconomic, and uh, environmental subsystems, it's very critical to adopt the systems thinking uh, paradigm to explain uh, the water resources problems that keep reappearing in different geographical lo locations, but they are very similar in nature. So uh, going through the systems thinking literature, um, we found that uh, a number of systems archetypes have been identified that can help explain uh, the problem, the root causes of the problem very easily. For example, the limits to the growth archetype, uh, that's a fundamental archetype that uh, basically tells you that uh, if you have a resource limited area, that the, the socioeconomic growth can, or any kind of growth can, and can go on until uh, a certain level. And what's more interesting is that the growth and underinvestment archetype that builds on the limits of the growth and it uh, basically says that you have to, as, a, as an entity that uh, would like to keep uh, growing, you have to work on, um, on building capacity in terms of the limiting factors that tend to limit your growth. And uh, the, also to fix this, back, the backfire characterizes the quick fix solutions to water resources problems, for example, water supply oriented uh, management scheme in arid basins is one of the examples for that archetype. Success of a successful, uh, powerful entity can go ahead and secure more resources and become more powerful, while uh, the weaker competitors become weaker and weaker. For example, a mega city that secures a lot of water and boosts socioeconomic growth, but other weaker uh, neighboring towns, for example, in a water scarce setting cannot do that and they actually grow weaker. And another uh, common archetype is tragedy of the commons, which, uh, which, uh, which is also a fundamental archetype. And the beauty of using systems archetype in holistic uh, conceptualization of water resources problems is that you can communicate a lot of insight to the decision makers uh, qualitatively, and then you can go ahead and run simulations and show uh, numerical results and to uh, clarify the communication.